Oh, allies. Allies, I am back in California. Back in California. And I'm feeling very nostalgic, so I thought I would make this a video. And what the hell, I don't even know I'm going to title this thing yet. So I feel like I ended the vlog without a lot of explanation. And I've been thinking about um, how to explain the whole thing. So hopefully I'm going to be able to do that right now. I'm sitting down, drinking a little Mammoth Brewing Company beer. This is a Mammoth Lakes 8000 Elevation Summer Triple Belgian style ale. Now, um, I'm not a big fan of high altitude fermented anything because it's generally not that good. Uh, just my own experience, but I, I'm gonna try this and, and try to enjoy it. So to explain this whole thing, I need to go back um, well before the vlog. I need to talk about when I left one aerospace company and went to work for another aerospace company. Uh, when I left uh, aerospace company number one to go to number two, while I was uh, given a promotion, which I'm very thankful for, there was a bit of a um, bill of goods sold that I did not receive. Um, there was a substantial amount of um, leadership roles that I was supposed to take over or, or lead or just would be given. I, I don't know. It wasn't my, uh, I, I agreed to it. They said that that was what it was and, and that's what I took. Um, at many months into um, the job, I got kind of upset. <laughs> Depressed is not the right word. It was angry. And I started thinking, well, if I'm not going to be like spending a lot of my time doing the career thing, what should I spend my time doing? And that's when I found Casey Neistat. And from Casey Neistat, the recommendation of a vlog started, and I already knew YouTube, I already had a following of, of sorts, and I decided to just go for it, just do it every day. And that's that's what I did. And I, um, I enjoyed it, I love it, I miss it today, I still miss it. Um, the last two weeks, there's no way I could have seriously vlogged those, it was way too intense. I was working um, super late shifts, one in the morning start times, just absolutely intense, intense uh, amount of work. Not not labor intensive, just mentally intensive. So um, anyway, let's try the beer. That's a pretty damn good saison, actually. I must say. Okay, Mammoth Lakes, eight thousand, eight thousand foot elevation. That's pretty good. Um, so. I, I dove into something to see where it would go and when um, a lot of things change at the same time. The first thing changed is that uh, I have been given uh, what I would say is a pretty substantial promotion and I'm very excited about it and I'm taking that on. So part of that uh, taking that on means that I just can't I can't do daily videos anymore. That's just the straight the straight dope on that. That's okay. Um, there's my my passion projects and what what got me into YouTube in the first place was all my hobbies and the love that I have for the things that I do. So I'm not really that upset about it because in doing the vlogs, I realized that I couldn't focus on those things that I loved as much. I have literally um, most of what's behind me over in this box here that you can't see that's off camera, tons of projects that I have been stacking up, even more than projects I was stacking up when I was doing just my regular project videos that I want to put on YouTube. So I, something had to change. And the thing, aside from the promotion, was YouTube changing their uh, their algorithm. My uh, income on YouTube, which is, is not anything, understand, I, I have always said from the moment I created an account on YouTube back in 2006 that if you have a hobby and you have the willing, film, not film, but record what you're doing because there's somebody out there that's that's interested in that hobby that, that wants to see content and they might not be able to be exercising that hobby like you do. Or maybe you have an insight that people haven't thought about and, and that they want to see it. And that was always my driving force to be on YouTube. That's why I, I, I do YouTube is because I don't think I'm special, but at the same time, I know that there's kids 
I know that there's people in places where they have uh, worse weather than I do. I can go fishing every day of the year. I know there's people that can't do that um, or, or whatever. That's just an example that they can't do the hobby that I do because of where they live at this time or how old they are or how much income they have or whatever reason. And so they go to YouTube. And so to me, YouTube is this really nice way of kind of like offsetting my hobby costs with my uh, with my with my actual hobby living my hobby life and so in that it's it's been amazing it, it's been one of the it's it's been how, how do i explain this it's the it's the thing that i do that when i try to explain to other people other people don't really get it like people will will go into debt and they'll spend an exorbitant amount of money and they don't realize that they can offset that cost um, and, and maybe it's because they just don't have the personality for it and maybe they just don't have the desire for it. And understand, producing YouTube videos is, a, is, is time intensive. It's not easy. I was, I was hesitant to say pain in the ass because it's not. I enjoy doing it. And, and most people who do do it over any course of time that have found a niche, they, um, they have to enjoy it. Otherwise, it, it wouldn't work. So they got to this point where these, these two trains used to cross in the night and, and then it was silent and it was another coming head on. Um, YouTube cutting the money and if I wanted to continue doing the dailies, I would literally have to be really serious about doing Patreon or really serious about doing live videos. And I'm still going to do live videos. I'm still going to do the um, electronics videos because I really, really like the electronics videos. I know that they're like negatively popular though. They're like super negative zero nerd popular and, and that's fine and that's okay. Part of the reason why I was looking at live though is because of Super Chat. Super Chat is a way that, that people, if they if they liked your content, could send you a buck or two bucks or whatever. Um, there was a chat that I was in with the Yankee Marshall where he got like $400. But I, I never thought that I would get anything like that. So that's, that's not why I said this. I just noticed that when you go direct to consumer, because that's literally what a live video is. It's direct con to consumer. Then you... Um, you can interact faster, you can get a faster uh, reply, and, and, and just the whole thing. I was like, yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. So how could I tap into that? Well, let's do these soldering projects. And, you know, as I, as I already mentioned, I know that's not a very popular thing, but I don't really care, because I like it. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Uh, with that said, in the description will be the next soldering project I do. It's going to be an FM transmitter, uh, a listening bug, basically. You can strap this little device on top of a 9-volt battery, and you tune into the radio frequency, and you can hear the people that are in the room that are being able to be received by that microphone. Pretty cool. So um, that's not plugging this whole thing going forward or anything. I kind of just wanted to explain why, because it was kind of quick that I that I did all this and I feel bad about that and I, I never really gave everybody a reason and that also makes me feel bad because I respect everybody and I really truly care about the people who come out and they watch the videos and the people who've been actively engaged in commenting and what's funny is there's a lot of people that um, that started out commenting when I started the vlogs and have like slowly disappeared and I haven't seen them in a while and I and that, that sometimes comes in my head. I'm like, oh man, yeah, there's, there's people I haven't talked to in a while. And I think about that kind of stuff and, it, and it, it, it's interesting to me. It's kind of a weird, it's not like posting a letter, right? Posting a letter to like one person. When I'm doing these videos, I'm talking to a camera and, and the only way that I know you see it is when I get your comments back. And sure, there's a number of views attached to it, but like it, it's not really real until I get like a comment or some kind of response so the people who took the time to engage i felt like you know you you guys are are more not more of a better audience or anything like that but just just more engaged and so when when they disappear then i'm like oh man you know what's what's going on with that anyway i'm starting to ramble um i hope that all makes sense there's a, a certain level of things that have to change going forward. Uh, I'm taking a promotion. I'm going to be spending more time at work, um, which means I'm going to have more project videos in the future because I think I'm keeping the I'm keeping the Xterra because I love the Xterra, but I think I'm going to get an electric car. 
And the reason for that is uh, I need a, I need to get into the carpool lane so that I can get to work as fast as possible and then get out of work as fast as possible so I can get home because I'm going to be spending a lot of hours on the job going forward, which I'm very much looking forward to. But uh, still, um, those are the realities of life, particularly when you can't do YouTube as a full-time gig. That's how it goes. Anyway, guys, uh, I will leave it at that. There will be a vlog tomorrow. I am going to do a vlog. We are, well, uh, assuming everybody is healthy enough to go. Some of the, uh, Leia is not feeling too good. The kids are not feeling too good. But we're supposed to go to this really big outing for families. And it's it's supposed to be like a, a play date for, for everyone in this area. It's, it's not, I think it's like 10 bucks to get into per person. Which is not cheap if you factor all that in because all the costs are added on top of that. But, but it's a play place that also has a beer garden for the parents. <laughs> Of course I'm gonna I'm gonna video that. So anyway, look forward to a vlog tomorrow. Um, question of the day. Man, what has changed in your life in the last two weeks? A lot's changed in mine. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. Anyway guys, that will do it today. If you have not already, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe. And in this case, I will talk to you tomorrow.